Him flinty prob. Hang hellebo do. Mule big dainty. Bing the bong. Hang the door. Shinnebeg bowl. Blemon dump. Ha ha. It's king of the dobo. Shnlever the blue bump. Yellabend. Hippie the coin king. I go. Remember the. Eh oh ah. Elder. I go look back. Rippy dobo. Oh gosh, it's tricky isn't it when a message is not totally clear and you can't quite get what someone is trying to say. I was me, I was me, that was me saying hello and welcome to Friday Club Online or should it be Freezy Club Online? It is a very cold sort of week isn't it but I hope you're nice and warm wherever you are. We're going to be thinking tonight about um, understanding things clearly. That's what we're going to be thinking about. And um, hopefully you've got your activity packs and in them you should find your big craft for this week. It is really cold out there this week. It's been snowy, hasn't it? And icy. The garden outside, if you kind of tapped on the soil, it'd be absolutely bone hard. But... Here at Friday Club Online, we are looking forward to sunnier, warmer, springtime days. And that is why uh, in your activity packs, you should find your big craft for today, which is one of these. It's a little um, wooden stake with a, uh, a kind of um, a bug or an insect or an animal on the top of it that you can color in that you could then get some seeds uh, over the next, maybe over half term next week or over the next few weeks, because now would be a great time to be planting stuff in the garden so that as springtime comes along and it gets a bit warmer and the sun shines a bit more, the plants will start to grow. And you could put this in the ground so that you knew where you'd planted your seeds so that in a few weeks, you might have some beautiful flowers or maybe some vegetables or something like that. And you could remember where they were. So you've got your little... Um, your little uh, planter friends there to be colouring in to do for your big craft. In a moment, we'll come to our big challenge. But before then, I think it would be good, don't you, if we looked at some of the amazing things that people did last week for the big craft and for the big challenge as well, which you might remember was all about books. There's also at the start of this week's gallery, uh, one from the week before, Remember we, the week before, our big challenge was all about saying hello to people in an interesting and exciting way. And somebody sent in a brilliant one and dopey old me, I forgot to include it. So that's why there's a great big hello at the start of this week's gallery as well. Should we have a look? OK, here we go. Brilliant. Well done, Gloria. And um, what a, an excellent favourite book. Thank you ever so much for um, sending in your pictures this week and over this last half term. Um, it's been brilliant to be able to put together the gallery each week. Now, it is time for our big challenge. Now, at the start, we had a bit of trouble, I think, because you couldn't quite clearly understand what I was trying to say. And sometimes it can be difficult to speak clearly. But we're going to see how good you are at that today, because our big challenge for today is tongue twisters. 
Okay? So limber up your mouths. You know, get yourselves ready. We're going to try three tongue twisters together to see how good you are. Okay? Here comes the first one, the first tongue twister for today's big challenge. It's a classic. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Okay, can you say that? Red lorry, yellow lorry. Can you say it a bit quicker? Red lorry, yellow lorry. 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 Ah! Oh! How fast can you do it? Red lorry, yellow lorry. It's a tricky one, isn't it? It's a tricky one. Okay, here's our next tongue twister. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the seashore. She sells seashells on the... Oh, dear. Go on, see how quickly you can do it. Can you do it any better? Maybe mum and dad or whoever's there with you. Maybe they want to have a go as well. She sells seashells on the seashore. That's a bit better. Okay, here's our third and final tongue twister for our big challenge. You might have heard those previous two before, but I'm not sure you'll have heard this one because it's a Friday Club online special. Today, I saw a fly day cub. Can you see him there, the flying, uh, the flying bear? Today, I saw a fly day cub go flying fast at Friday Club. Can you say it quicker? Today I saw a fly day cub go flying fast at Friday Club. Today I saw a fly day cub go flying fast at Friday Day Club. Oh dear! How fast can you do it? Today I saw a fly day cub go flying fast at Friday Club. Today I saw a fly day cub go flying fast at Friday Club. Oh, it's so difficult with the flirt and flirt. Oh dear! Drives you crazy. But you can keep practicing them. Red lorry, yellow lorry, lorry. Oh. She sells seashells on the seashore. Yes, got that one right. Today I saw a fly day cub go flying fast at Friday Club. <sighs> well done, Friday Clubbers, for tackling our Friday Club online tongue twister big challenge. So, <sighs> you can have a break now. You've got your big craft. We've done our big challenge. That brings us to today's big Bible. And we've been thinking all the way through this half term about how it is that we can know God. How can we know God? How can we know what God is like? And we've thought about all different ways that we can know him through the creation, through everything that he's made. In the Old Testament, they could know him through the prophets who he sent to speak to them. But now we know God, we were thinking about this last week, through the Bible. He's given us his word. He's spoken to us there so that we can know him. And today, for the final one in this series, we're going to think about the fact that we can know God because he's revealed himself, he's made himself known to us through Jesus. Okay, that's what we're thinking about today. And to help us, I've brought something. I've brought this. This belongs to um, uh, my children's granddad. It's amazing, isn't it? It's a, it's a model mini. Or is it a mini model? It's a mini model mini, isn't it? It's made out of Lego. It's amazing, really beautiful. And models, they can be really exciting, can't they? Maybe you like making um, models of, of different things and things like that. They show us what something is like. This is the sort of shape and colour um, of a, an actual mini an actual car, it's got four wheels and everything like that, but it's not a perfect representation. You couldn't actually drive this because it's, it's just a model. It's not exactly what the real thing is like. But when it comes to Jesus, well, Jesus, he is the exact representation of God. He perfectly 
shows us what God is like. We can know God through Jesus. And I just want us to see when Jesus tells his disciples about this. In John's gospel, Jesus has told his friends, his um, disciples, that he's going to go back to heaven. He's going to go back to God, the Father. And Thomas, one of Jesus' friends, he wants to know how to do that. And in John chapter 14 and verse 7, he says, Lord, we don't know where you're going, so how can we know the way? And Jesus answered, this is a very famous verse, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. Wow, do you hear what Jesus says? How can we know God? He says, if you really know me, you know my Father as well. Jesus says, you can know God, you can know the Father by knowing me. But Philip, well, one of Jesus' other friends, he doesn't really get it. He says in chapter 14, verse 8, Lord, show us the Father, and that will be enough for us. Can anyone tell me, did you hear, what does Philip ask Jesus to do? That's right, let me read it again. Lord, show us the Father. He says, well, okay, Jesus, we want to know the Father. We want to know God. So show us, show us what he's like. But what have we already said today? How can we know what God is like? How can we know the Father? Through Jesus. That's right. And Jesus answers Philip, don't you know me, Philip? Even after I've been among you such a long time, anyone who has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Jesus says, you don't need me to show you the Father, Philip, because you know the Father. You've seen the Father through seeing and knowing me, through knowing Jesus. So the best way for us to know what God is like is through looking at Jesus, looking at his life, what he did when we're coming to Friday Club, uh, doing Friday Club online, or when we're doing uh, stuff at our churches, or maybe at home or at school when we're learning about Jesus. As we're learning about what he is like, well, so we're learning about God as well, and what he's like. Because Jesus shows us perfectly what God is like. He's even better than a, a kind of a replica model that's a bit the same. No, Jesus shows us perfectly what God is like. And why should we believe that, though? How can we be sure? Well, Jesus says in John 14, believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or at least believe on the evidence of the works themselves. That word works, it means his kind of his miracles, the signs, the amazing things that Jesus did when he was alive, that the disciples had been there, they'd seen with their own eyes. Can you think of any? Let me just give you a moment to think. How many different miracles, amazing things that Jesus did can you think of? I bet you've been able to come up with a few. You could think about when Jesus healed People who were paralyzed, they couldn't walk, or gave sight to people who were blind, who couldn't see. When Jesus calmed the storm, or fed 5,000 people with just a few little bits of bread and some fish. Maybe when he calmed the storm, the big storm on the, the sea, just by speaking to it. Jesus did loads and loads of amazing, incredible things. And Jesus says to his disciples, just look at what I've done. That shows you that I must be God, and it shows you what God is like. It shows us that God is powerful, that he's loving, that he's good, that he's perfect, that he's able to forgive sin, that he's able to give life. Jesus had even done that. He'd brought people back from the dead. Only God can do that. That's what God is like. He's the God who gives life. And so we can know what God is like by looking at Jesus's life, looking at what he did, listening to what he said. And even more exciting, we don't simply know about God through Jesus. We can actually 
know God. Again, in that very famous verse, Jesus tells his disciples, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. But through Jesus, we can come to the Father. We can know him. Because when we trust in Jesus and what he's done for us by dying on the cross, well, that means that we're forgiven friends with God. It means that the God who made the whole world, the God who is powerful, it means the God who spoke to the prophets, spoke through the prophets long ago and who's given us his word in the Bible. That God isn't keeping himself hidden. He wants to know us. He wants to be our friends. And that's why he sent Jesus to save us so that we can know him. Yes, so that we can know what he is like, but also so that we can be his friends. We can be with him now and forever. It's been great learning a bit, I think, over the last few weeks about um, how we can know God. I've enjoyed it and found it really interesting. Um, we'll be back, um, not next Friday, because next Friday is half term, but after that, we're going to think a little bit more about exactly um, what Jesus did when he was alive, and especially what he did um, uh, at Easter time. Um, after half term, it won't be too many weeks until Easter, so we're going to spend a few weeks looking at the Easter story in that same gospel, actually, in um, John's gospel. So that's what we're going to be doing um, after half term. So you can come back more uh, to learn then. But now, what do you need? I'll tell you what you need. You need to get into your activity packs so that you can uh, do your sheet. And what's the other thing? Hmm. I can't. I don't think you've forgotten. Ooh. Eat your sweet, do your sheet, and eat your sweet. That's right. It's time to, um, uh, to do that now, uh, to enjoy the big swig. Thanks ever so much for tuning in. Like I say, we won't be back next week because uh, it's half term, but we'll be back on Friday the 26th of February for the next Friday Club online. Have a wonderful break. Uh, until then, i um, glad we have a, a week or so. We don't have to do so much stuff um, on computers and things like that. You can have a little bit more time to rest and play. I hope you really enjoy that. I will see you again soon. And to finish with, we're going to listen to a song, a song that is all about, guess who? Jesus.
He is the hero that we need, a man of sorrows. He's the son of God, and you know his name.